Hi, I'm Matt Pintart, a graduate student at the University of Mississippi. I work on the development and habitat selection of amphibians and aquatic beetles, as well as community structure in aquatic systems. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the unique polymorphism that we see in the egg masses of the spotted salamander. A polymorphism is when there are two or more different morphs or forms of a species. Polymorphisms can be heritable and are subject to natural selection, so they are, like any aspect of an organism, a result of evolutionary processes. By far the most common example of a polymorphism is sexual dimorphism, where there are two sexes, male and female, which not only appear different from each other, but also have different structures and functions. Other well-known examples of polymorphisms include the black panther morph of both jaguars and leopards, and the peppered moth, which rapidly shifted from dominance of the light morph to the dark morph due to differential fitness as a result of pollution in the 19th century. Now, while adults of the spotted salamander all typically appear very similar to each other, it is in the egg masses of this species where we see a striking polymorphism. There are two common morphs of their egg masses where they can have either a white or a clear appearance. There is also a third intermediate or gray morph that is uncommon or completely absent from populations. This difference in appearance occurs because a different protein occurs in the outer jelly layer of white egg masses than in the outer jelly layer of clear egg masses. Which protein occurs in any one egg mass is genetically determined and produced by the female that lays that egg mass. So this polymorphism is not directly environmentally determined and it is also unique among amphibians because no other species are known to exhibit such a polymorphism in the appearance or structure of its eggs. Even the white appearance of the eggs is very uncommon as only one other species, a tropical frog, is known to produce egg masses that have a white appearance. Nearly all amphibians produce egg masses with clear appearances. The egg jellies are important parts of egg masses because they help to mediate interactions between the embryos in the external environment. Because the spotted salamander's polymorphism is due to the occurrence of two different proteins, it likely has some sort of function in mediating those interactions, although this function has not been determined. Polymorphisms occur because they convey advantages to individuals in certain conditions and are the result of the pressures of natural selection in those environments. Here at the University of Mississippi Field Station, spotted salamanders breed in many of the ponds during the winter months, typically from December to February. Embryos can remain in the egg masses for up to two months here depending on the environmental conditions. But now in mid-March, and after a fairly mild winter, all of the larvae have hatched and the egg jellies are degrading. Any advantage that the polymorphism provides would occur during the embryonic stage, because that is when the egg jellies are actually mediating the interactions between the embryos and the environment. Based on previous work by other researchers, I hypothesized that this polymorphism could be an adaptation to varying levels of dissolved nutrients in ponds. So I collected field data from these ponds and conducted two experiments to see if I could answer the question of what is the function of the spotted salamander polymorphism? Answering this question can provide an insight into different ways that egg jellies operate and into how the environment determines and maintains certain phenotypes and polymorphisms through natural selection. It can also bring up questions as to how environmental change can affect not only the presence of certain phenotypes of a species, but also the presence, abundance, and persistence of a species itself. If you're interested in learning more about this project or what my results were, check out my site, which I've linked to below. I might also create a follow-up video to this one, going into more details about the project, so look out for that.